Hello, hello. Um, I mean, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the jungle. Or if you are new to this channel, my name is Benedict, and some of my friends call me the Quad Father because I have contributed to the birth of thousands and thousands of micro quads. This is the first video of a series that I call The Truth About the Tello, One Pack at a Time. This video series was inspired by all these affiliate chill videos that I've seen on YouTube, which basically go like, yeah, the camera isn't that good, but it's only 99 bucks. I think you should buy it by clicking on the affiliate link in my video description. I would like to provide a counterweight to all these biased videos and show you the truth about the Tello, one pack at a time. This is pack number one. Step number one, bind to the Wi-Fi hotspot this thing creates. So open your Wi-Fi settings. You probably can't read this, but yeah, I'm selecting the Tello something blah blah hotspot and then go back to the app and voila, it connected really quickly and shows pretty good video. Let's change to video mode and press record says it's recording, so take off, buddy. Nice, it works. Let's start with the stereotypical drony. Hello, hello. So here comes the first challenge. I fly it straight over the edge. Some other quads that use altitude control have severe issues with currently seeing the ground dropping like 10 or 15 meters. The Tello has no problems with that. Holds its altitude quite nicely. Very impressive, son. Live video from yourself is pretty good for posture check. I see a lot of people use their phones like this. Just stand up. Much better for your spine. There is a noticeable delay between the movements of the drone and the motion on the screen. Also, sometimes it just stutters a little bit and skips a couple more frames. Unfortunately, these missing frames are completely skipped in the recorded video file, so the time sync is completely out of whack. It's just so frustrating trying to get a picture and picture like this to sync up. So yeah, that's why I just gave up and you'll see the full screen onboard footage. So when you look at the video through the app, it's pretty much as bad as you can see it here. It's skipping frames frequently, and in addition, it's slightly delayed what you see on the screen or what the copter actually does. So you gotta fly really slow not to crash it. And a lot of this footage here, I'm actually flying this thing line of sight because I can see it from up there. Otherwise, I would probably have crashed it with that crappy video connection. So yeah, um, my plan was to take some video of these brush turkeys here. They're already conditioned to micro quads. Um, they, they know that if they get aggressive, micro quad gets aggressive. So that's why, you know, we kind of have respect they have grounded me a few times, but I scared the living hell out of them at other times. But yeah, we, you know, we're also friends. Okay, next test, turn around and full throttle upwards and full tilt forward. Let's see how that goes. Mom, mom. 
punch out, buddy. Yeah, I'm already going full throttle, sir. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not going up fast, but very nice and smooth. Flying, that is. The flying is smooth. The video is choppy AF. Holy Wi-Fi. Just as we expected. Rah! I have taken a couple of pictures and they look all right. And also don't mind the lag when I'm looking at the video on the app. But I want to, the recorded video to be smooth. Yeah, that's kind of a big pain in the behind. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. Now, the reason for all these skipped frames is that the video is not recorded on board of the Tello, but it's sent down to the phone over a unreliable and obviously not error-checked connection. So if frames are skipped, they are just not on the recording. And so the timing of the recording is just jumping all over the place. In addition, you get all the compression artifacts of the connection in the video as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you can see it when you take still pictures with this quad. The actual camera quality is pretty nice. But um, yeah, the recording over Wi-Fi idea, uh, the guy who has come up with that needs to be punched in the face. There needs to be a frigging micro SD card slot on this drone so I can pop 128 gigabytes of memory in there and record at 4K. Wouldn't have been that hard, right? Now instead we get like the freaking chop chop video. Is that a chopper? Yes, son. It's a video chopper. <laughs> yeah, well, despite the shocking video quality, I make an attempt of flying this FPV. So I want to fly it across the lower deck and then up on the other side. I should have very good video connection here, and if it drops, it just drops onto the lower deck. So I should be fine. Let's see. Yeah, going well. On what? What happened? What happened? It briefly said some error message on the phone. I couldn't read it. Mm, it says light is too low. I click on it and I should hold it level. Ah. Let's see if it works again. Seems to be some launch mode. Ah. Let's just see if it flies again. Swipe to launch. Hmm. Seems to work again. Oh, it says on the on the phone display error overheating, system overheating. Um, okay, let's try to land that thing and check if it's any hot. Gee, it's kind of hard to position this. Land mode. Oh, great. If you have land mode enabled, you can't control it at all anymore. So, enable hand land mode and then pop your hand underneath. Is it on? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, that works kind of nice. Motor's hot? No. On the bottom hot? No. Seems pretty normal to me. Let's just fly until the battery's done. Come on, launch, dude. Yeah, nice. Still flies. I think it's probably better to keep it in here. The battery's pretty low already, so... Yeah, no more big adventures. Let's keep it... Oh, hang on. Uh, 
I know what to do. I fly it up there, try to fly it above the upper deck from here, and then I let it hover there. It looks alright. And then run upstairs. Yeah, good. It's it's still there. Very stable, I have to say. Rock solid, it sits there. Yeah, but even if I'm very close to the smartphone with the tello, the video, the recorded video is dropping so many frames that it's yeah, pretty pointless to make these video or these picture in picture videos because the time sync is just completely off. And even if you're just looking at the recorded video, yeah, it's just, you know, a really choppy potato. It's just no fun to look at this video afterwards. It's just skipping frames everywhere. Yeah, I mean, for, you know, documentary purposes, like documenting the condition of a roof, Maybe nice. Oh, look, it's going down now. Battery empty, I presume. Uh, let's just land here. Um, land mode. Oops. Yeah, not the smartest idea to grab it by the prop guards. But if it comes down in one piece and no one's hurt, I'll consider it a landing. So... That was pack number one of the truth about the Tello. And the takeaway of pack number one is the video quality suffers significantly from being transported through the air before it's recorded. In my opinion, the fact that this thing has no micro SD card on board is a huge oversight on behalf of the manufacturer. It flies really good though, so I'll try to take some pictures next. See you on pack two.